Somalia's government recently launched a massive demolition campaign in one of Mogadishu's biggest markets and main economic center. Several business operators watched helplessly as a huge bulldozer reduced some of their makeshift buildings and stalls in Bakara Market to rubble. The market, which covers 2.5 square kilometers, was a livelihood to many, buyers as well as vendors, trading an array of goods from food and medicine to petroleum products. Bakara's business operators say they have lost their means of support in the ongoing demolition. And got hundred key like, like, the government has destroyed our businesses, yet they have not given us an alternative place so we can continue running our businesses. I don't know what caused this problem. But the government says the vendors were aware the demolitions were coming because they had been informed. Officials say crime was rampant in the market due to the disorder caused by the years of civil war and that some businesses were even selling small arms. City officials also say the only way they could curb criminal activity, regulate market activity and rid the market of what it calls illegal structures built on access roads was to embark on a massive cleanup campaign of the market. We gave one month warning to the business people who built illegal buildings inside Bakara market. But today we are destroying stalls for those who did not obey the government order. This destruction is taking place because of the security of Bakara market. Almost every road is blocked because of illegal buildings. Bakara Market has a violent past. One of the bloodiest battles in the country's history occurred in 1993 between Somalis and American troops in which two U.S. Black Hawk helicopters were shot down and 18 American soldiers were killed. More recently, fighting between transitional federal government troops and Al-Shabaab insurgents has seen rockets and other weapons land in the market, causing the death of hundreds of businessmen, women and children. Now, the demolitions are not expected to affect the day-to-day -day operations of the market as millions of people in Mogadishu and surrounding towns depend on its economic activities. Government officials estimate that three million U.S. dollars worth of trade was conducted in the market in 2009. 2011, excuse me. 